The Baker Wings you see behind me is the latest creation from the team of mad scientists at MDT. And in today's video, we're gonna jump into their benefits and whether or not you should consider adding them to your precision rifle. Now I've had the privilege of working with the guys from MDT for many years and the guy who invented the Baker Wings. Now let's start there. They're called the Baker Wings, not the Bat Wings. The Bat Wing is something completely different. If you've seen that Ryan Reynolds movie, you know what I'm talking about. These things are legit. I'm not gonna make you wait till the end of the video before I give you my opinion. I've had them for a few months. I actually took a pair back from SHOT Show. They were on my ACC lead and I decided to put them on my 223 Remington Trainer, which is the rifle you see here next to me. And I shot this this past weekend in a match configuration or sort of a match environment for the first time. And I can tell you what, they're legit. Now they're not plastic, they're machined from aluminium. And I know a thing or two about machining aluminium because we obviously also have a machining business. The level of detail that went into creating these is astounding. They did many things here that they really didn't have to do and it would have given you like 80% of the function without being so aesthetically pleasing. I think they look absolutely badass on the rifle. What's really cool is they're designed so that they can be mounted not just to MDT rifles, which is a really, really big plus. So if you have some sort of rifle with an M-Lock system, you can actually mount these. Now, mine at the moment is only secured with three, three of the provided four screws because of the position that I've sort of put them in. What's nice about that is, you know, some of the holes are even slotted on this, so you can move them forwards and backwards to get it sort of to that perfect place where when you're putting your hand down on your rifle to support your rifle, your hand's in the same place. Now, why is this relevant? You know, I've seen many shooters, we upgrade our rifle systems into chassis and stuff, and when the guys are sort of grabbing the forend of their rifle for that added stability, they actually put their thumbs on top of their barrel. Now, that's not the greatest thing in the world to do, because if you're applying too much pressure, I mean, look at this. If I'm applying a little bit of pressure, I am actually moving that rifle barrel up and down, which will result in a point of impact shift, and it might also influence your harmonics not necessarily for the better. So keep that in mind. My friend Skulk is very guilty of this, or he used to be. And I said to him, dude, keep that in mind. And he kept putting his thumb on there. And he once told me that he was on target for like a banker and he didn't hit the shot. And then when he looked, his thumb was on his rifle's barrel. So keep that in mind. I really like these. They are premium. As I said, they are machined and it's not an easy part to machine. They even have a little QD sling mount there. What I also like about them is underneath, they have grip tape on with the research MDT did. They decided, listen, grip tape is sort of the best medium that we can get to get that traction sort of on your bag. Because think about it in this case, if this is my precision rifle sort of shooting bag, if your rifle is grippy, okay, I think this is securely fastened. If your rifle is grippy, that'll basically mean that the more friction on that bag as your rifle is recoiling back, the more it will want to keep your rifle from recoiling. So that's basically why they decided to do the grip tape. Now, the other really cool thing is, unlike with the sort of gray ops tack plate, which was the first rendition, you can still make the most of your Arca compatible tripod because this Baker Wings doesn't actually take up any space on your Arca rail. So if I wanted to, I can still slide my rifle back and forth. Let me demonstrate it this way. I can still slide this rifle back and forth. Absolutely no problem because I still can utilize my full Arca rail. So shorter video, Baker Wings, yay or nay, I'm gonna give them 
a massive yay. There are a little bit of drawbacks, but sort of in the precision rifle space, I feel the benefits far outweigh the negative. The negative for me, on this past weekend's match, we were shooting off sort of this tire pyramid, and the positions on the side, they were very narrow. And this is obviously gonna increase the width, the girth of your rifle. So it is gonna make it a little bit more wide. So when you are sort of seldomly find yourself in the position where you're shooting off sort of a very narrow platform, that can be a little bit of a negative. But other than that, I'm sold. I am actually very lucky to have secured the majority of the Baker wings coming into South Africa. So if you're looking to pick up this product, shameless plug, the link to my store is down below, impactproshop.net. If you're looking for sort of the other gear and the stuff we sell, we ship stuff all over the world every single day. If you're having problems checking out or anything, just send us an email, info at impactproshop.net. Make sure it's business related, then we'll get back to you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. MDT, thanks for always pushing the boundaries and elevating our sport by coming up with sort of creative little things like this. And thank you very much for not making them model specific that we can actually backdate them to sort of our older generation chassis like this ACC that I have here. Nothing wrong with the current version of the ACC. Obviously, we know there is a newer, better, more sort of tactical one. But this one takes it to another level. I mean, adding the Baker wings to this really gives you that sort of next level stability. A few of the guys shot my rifle and like looked through my rifle after the match to feel like ergonomically how your thumb actually sits here and how you can index with that index finger to really manipulate the rifle much better. You just have so much more control over it. We actually tried prototyping something like this, which was just like, sort of like a knob. And then Manners came out with something a few years or a couple of months later. And we found that just the knob really didn't do it for us. And we don't sort of have the equipment nor do we want to go into making super complex things like this. So I want to thank MDT for just knocking it out the park. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, all of the wonderful things. Bye.